we uh, move on. I'm very honored that Mr. Roman Gierti is here with us today. Uh, I'm, I'm happy to give him uh, the floor. You are an attorney. It became known that while you were conducting cases for, among others, uh, Donald Tusk, that you were subject to surveillance by the Pegasus software program, as later also confirmed by the Citizen Lab. And I think your story and your personal experience are very valuable to our hearing here today. And I am happy but mostly honored uh, to have you here with us in person. And I give you the floor also for 10 minutes, please. Thank you very much for the invitation. I will speak in Polish because there is a lot of Polish media today with us. John Scott Rylton. John Scott Rylton, an expert from Citizen Lab, famously said that Pegasus is a proverbial canary in the coal mine. A canary in the coal mine pointing to a far greater danger. Miners used to take a cannery down with them underground because that would be a harbergen, harbergen, a sign of a possible explosion of methane. By the same token, Pegasus today is symptomatic of a possible threat to democracy. What has been happening in Israel recently is also very telling. There is a committee on Pegasus allegedly with the aim to protect democracy. How is an authoritarian state being created? The first stage is to destroy the democratic scrutiny, the checks and balances system when it comes to what the secret services and the public prosecutor are doing. Those services are becoming politicized. They are no longer working for justice. They are working for the politicians. We tend to forget what is happening in Poland, or let me rephrase it, we tend to forget how it has all started. It hasn't started with me, it hasn't started with Senator Breza. The first victim was Donald Tusk himself, when he was the president of the European Council. Let me tell you a few words about what happened. In the first term of his term in office, he was regularly harassed by the Polish prosecution by the special committees in the Polish Parliament. He was summoned many times. He had to participate in hearings that would last for hours. He had to appear before the special committee. So did his son. I was honored to be able to represent Donald Tusk back then. In Poland, the process of creating an authoritarian state was already underway, and lawyers are always the first victims, the first targets of those who want to create an authoritarian state. Why is that? Lawyers are protecting citizens from the abuse on the part of the state. That is why they are being targeted. Lawyers are creating a safeguard, a barrier, are protecting citizens, are defending citizens in a situation where the authority is abusing its powers. Therefore, we are being targeted as lawyers. And I would say it's quite typical, because the very same thing is happening elsewhere, in other authoritarian countries or countries with authoritarian tendencies. Let us look at Russia. One of the very first victims of the Putin's regime was a lawyer, Sergei Magnitsky. Now we have an act using his name in an honor of Magnitsky. We have an act that imposes sanctions on Russia. It's called Magnitsky Act. Magnitsky was assassinated in prison. Unfortunately, Poland is not, excuse me, fortunately, Poland is not there yet. I was being prosecuted. There were attempts to deprive me of my capacity to act as a lawyer. There were disciplinary cases against me. 
and the body responsible for that was the illegal disciplinary chamber that fined me. What I would like to share with you today is something that I consider crucial, including for the, for the Parliament and for the EU institutions. The fact that my phone uh, was infected uh, with Pegasus is the starting point of that story. I did share the report about this hack, the report from Citizen Lab. It is available. It all started on the 5th of September 2019, as early as that. 5th of September 2019. Donald Tusk texted me back then, told me he changed his phone number. I received a message to that effect from Donald Tusk. I'm not sure it's a coincidence. I think that someone was hacking, was intercepting, was eavesdropping on Donald Tusk. I don't know whether they were using Pegasus or not. But clearly life became more difficult for them because Tusk changed his phone number and therefore they switched to me. And via me they wanted to wiretap intercept the contact, the messages between me and Donald Tusk. So I wasn't the main target, I would say. It was Tusk, it was Donald Tusk that was the main target. In 2019 everyone was anxiously waiting for Tusk to say whether or not he was going to run for the position of the president in Poland. Law and justice was scared that he could possibly run as such a potentially frightening enemy, so they wanted to establish what he is up to. During this period of enhanced surveillance I was being spied on in Poland but also in Italy. Back then I was working on a visit of Donald Tusk, the then President of the European Council, to Pope Francis. I was preparing this visit, I was working on it. And I would say that this surveillance in Italy was linked to that visit. Perhaps uh, someone uh, expected that following the visit to the Vatican, Tusk would uh, formally announce that he is going to run for president. That didn't, didn't happen. The government failed to find anything incriminating Tusk or me, for that matter, during this period. However, some delicate political issues and legal issues were being discussed in those messages and were being discussed in my other messages, which prompted the government to launch another attack, this time directly uh, on me. I was detained, I was handcuffed, I was humiliated, they wanted to ban me from practicing as a lawyer. And I did receive a ban like that for one month. That was uh, examined by the courts. The courts in Poland said that it was all illegal, that the charges were compromising, but not for me, but for the prosecution. The courts said that all those actions against me were groundless. And the courts have called upon the prosecution to stop using the Central Anti-Corruption Office to spy on uh, people using Pegasus. This software was also used against public officials. I've never been a public official and I wasn't subject to the Central Anti-Corruption Office, that is to monitor the behavior of public officials. So we had the rulings of the courts that were totally in my favor. But that's not the end of the story. I contacted Citizen Lab to have my phone checked for malware. I was aware of the fact that there was a danger that I was being snooped on and I wanted to find the traces of that surveillance on my smartphone. On the 9th of December last year, I contacted Citizen Lab. And interestingly enough, on the very next day, in the afternoon, 
the services, the public prosecutor and the government launched another attack against me. Just after I have contacted Citizen Lab. I think that needs to be cleared, it needs to be established what has happened, we need some explanations. Next week, let me brief you on that, my lawyers uh, specializing in Italian law are going to make a report to the Italian prosecution. They are going to make a report on the possible illegal use of Pegasus against me in the Republic of Italy. I hope the Italian prosecution will respond to that and launch an investigation. I'm very happy that uh, the European Parliament wants to have a special inquiry committee on that. I've had some experience as a member of the Parliament and I think that this uh, committee in the European Parliament should work together with the prosecution services in different countries because that just gives you more leeway, more possibilities, more probability of success. Perhaps the Italians would be willing to work with you to shed some light on that matter, the Italian prosecutor. That's just a suggestion. Everything I'm talking uh, about is about the government trying to intimidate citizens. That's the very nature of an authoritarian state. The authorities want to intimidate citizens, they are surveilling them, they are launching disciplinary cases or criminal cases for that matter. It is typical. But Poland is not Russia. They will not succeed in Poland because there is huge resistance on the part of the citizens. The government is partly self-destructive, it is beginning to fall apart and I think that Pegasus will be one of the events that will prompt resistance, allowing Poland to defend itself as a democracy. And I hope soon Poland will stop using authoritarian methods to fight the opposition. Thank you. Thank you very much um, for that. It is, a, it is an impressive and in many ways a very uh, scary story in that sense I'm, I'm very happy that you came to Brussels to uh, to share that story and that you continue your work for uh, rule of law for democracy in Poland uh, in such uh, in such an impressive way so thank you thank you very much